Hey guys, welcome to Luke Reviews Hot Wheels, and today we have a double feature. Let's run over our Lego people over here. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the set for Smuggler Part 3 to show you that I am making it. It's just delayed a little bit because I'm still waiting on the voice actors, and I'm probably going to be waiting on them forever. So I'm probably just going to kick them off the voice acting team the second this video goes out so I can get Smuggler Part 3 out. Because as soon as I get the voice actors' lines, trust me, I will finish filming and editing the rest of the film and get it up, get it up as soon as possible once I get the voice actors' lines. Anyways, um, let's actually get to the Hot Wheels reviews. We have a little bit of a double featured, like I said. I'm just going to call this the Oshkosh Drift Car because it has no name. See the bottom there. Yeah, it doesn't have any name, and I don't remember what it is. So I'm just going to call it the Ash Cash Fire Department Drift Car. Even though I should know what it is, but I'm dumb, so, yeah. Overall, it's a pretty nice car. I'm liking the red and white paint scheme. I'm liking... The Oshkosh Fire Department. Um, the spoiler in the back is a little bit lacking, though. It's a little, it's a little bit lacking. It leaves a little bit up to the imagination because it looks horrible, and I would definitely change it at any moment. But anyways, get rid of that car and bring in the new car. You guys are gonna love this one. All right, let's put this guy right here. And the reason why we're putting him right there is because boom. Holy crap, you couldn't even, wow. Um, because here's our next car. Let's look at the, ah, oh, I turned it up the wrong way. Let's look at the bottom. Uh, the 1968 Copo Cometo. It's a pretty cool car. Pretty unique. That's why I like it. Haven't really seen anything like it ever since I got it, so. Different variant of the Camaro, I guess. But overall, it's it's a pretty cool car, but it's kind of bland. So, I don't know. If I had to give this car a rating right here, I'd give it like a 9. And if I had to give this car right here a rating, I'd give it like a 8.5 to 8. But anyways, I just screwed up my whole set. Um, thanks to you guys. It's obviously all your fault. And I just screwed up my whole set for the next scene. Dang it, guys. But anyways, there's my double feature of Hot Wheels reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. And dang it, stop screwing up my freaking set!